Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, module on OCI block volume service backup and restoration uh, capabilities. So in this module, we'll look into backup and, and uh, restoring block volumes and what do uh, those features actually do. So uh, backup, as the slide shows here, is a complete point in time snapshot of your block uh, volumes. Let me just skip one second here. Uh, so what does it mean is, if you take a, a backup of a block storage um, device running here, let's say for example, the backup actually goes into object storage, which is a regional service. And then from the from the object storage, you can just store the backup. Now this is a multi ad region, right? So you can see availability domain one, availability domain two. So you could uh, take the backup and you could restore the backup to any of the ADs, uh, while restore the, the backup as a new volume uh, to any of the ADs within the same region. Uh, but if it's a single AD region, uh, of course, you're limited to the same availability domain from which you take, take the, the backup. Uh, but the thing you could do even in those um, single AD regions is you could copy block volume backups from one region to another. Because one of the common use cases which comes up all the time is, yes, I'm running some application in this region, but I also want to quickly clone that application, let's say in another region, right? So the easiest way to do that is you uh, copy your block volume backups from one region to uh, another. Now, uh, backups are done using point in time snapshots. So that's why, you know, we, we, we you know, we, we talked about this uh, earlier. Uh, therefore, while the backup is being performed uh, in the background um, in a sort of asynchronous manner, your applications can continue to access your data without any interruption, right? And you can see some numbers here. Um, these are sort of typical numbers, uh, but again, we don't have an SLA or anything like that. Uh, if you're doing a two terabyte uh, volume backup, you take something like 30 minutes and so on and so forth, right? Uh, there are uh, two kinds of backups you can do, right? So there is on-demand uh, one-off uh, volume backup, uh, which, you, which you could do, or you could do policy-based backups. So on-demand uh, one-off uh, backups, uh, there are two options you get, right? One is incremental, uh, where you can just do a backup, let's say, in different uh, point-in-time snapshots uh, periods, and then you could uh, just do the next one incrementally over the, the previous one or you could just do a full backup. You don't care about the previous uh, backup, you just do a full. So that's on-demand uh, one of uh, volume backup. The other option, uh, this we just talked about, is the automated policy-based uh, backups. Now, automated policy-based uh, backups, what we mean is you take backups on a schedule and retain them based on the selected backup policy. Now, we support three backup policies, branch, silver, and gold. And don't worry, I'll show this in, in the console. Uh, but today you cannot do like a customized backup policy. So you could not say that, uh, you know, I want to combine bronze and silver or do my own sort of policy. It's it's not supported today. Uh, so with that, let me just quickly jump to the jump to the console and show you where the backup policies are. So first thing you see here is the backup policies are listed here right in the console. So gold, silver, bronze. If you click on gold, you can see that there are different uh, backup types. So there is a daily backup, which happens, right? Uh, there is a weekly backup, which happens. And as you can see here, the daily backups are retained for a week. Weekly backups are retained for a month. And then there's a monthly backup, which happens, which is retained for a whole year, 11 months, sort of like a year. And then we also do a full yearly backup, which is retained for five years, right? And as you can scroll here, uh, it will show me some of the uh, the like the the times when the backups will happen right so it's showing me the timing for the next three backups uh, it's going to happen next few uh, you know three days right uh, it's showing me uh, for you know weekly the schedule for next three uh, three weeks right and so on and so forth right so you can see these uh, schedules here uh, if I go back to uh, the menu here you can see there's a silver backup which is uh, which is uh, slightly uh, lower frequency than the gold backup. Uh, it has a weekly schedule, it has a monthly schedule, uh, and it has a yearly schedule, right? Uh, uh, and again, some of the things you can see, uh, it doesn't have a daily backup. Weekly is retained for a month, monthly is retained for a year, and yearly is retained for five years, right, as, as with gold. And then there is a branch, which is basically monthly and yearly. So there is no uh, daily backups, there is no weekly backups. So again, depending on what what your requirements are, you could either with, go with gold, uh, silver, or uh, bronze. So how do you do these uh, backup policies, right? How do you apply them? So if I come to a block volume here, 
first thing I could do here is I could just do a manual backup, right? So if this block volume is running here, I could just click uh, create manual backup and I would give it a name backup one and I could choose a full backup or incremental backup. I would say full backup, right? I could just do that, right? Pretty straightforward. Uh, I could also assign a backup policy. So if I come here, uh, because when I created these volumes, I didn't assign a backup policy. So I could say, you know, do a branch backup, which means it's a monthly backup. And then uh, it will also have a yearly backup. I could have gone to a gold, which is sort of the, as the name specifies, the highest tier of backups. Uh, but then again, remember that as you are doing the backups, you are also paying for them, right? So there's a trade-off between the frequency you want and the cost you are willing to spend. So gold probably I don't want to do. So bronze is fine. And I could just assign my backup policies here. And right here, you could see that my backup policy is assigned. And if I go to vol block volume uh, backups, the first uh, backup which I had just created uh, is uh, is getting created here, right? You can see this uh, this this uh, this this icon here uh, showing it's available. Uh, and because I uh, the policy I assigned is a branch, uh, so it's going to do a backup on a on a monthly basis. If for this one, if I let's say I want to do a gold, you would see right away that there is a backup being created for this particular volume. So if I go to block volume backups now. It, in, in a couple of uh, seconds, you would see that that uh, policy would entail a backup and the backup would start um, there, right? Because it's like a daily backup we take and then there's a weekly backup. So hopefully this gives you a good uh, idea of how the backup works, whether it's on demand or it's a policy based backup uh, and uh, the, the various different tiers of policy based uh, backups we support. Thanks for watching this module. Uh, if you have time, please join me in the next module where we talk about cloning. Uh, and uh, 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 volume groups. Thank you.